good day everyone. Topic 1 in Mathematics 1, TM015 is Indices, Sets and Logarithms. So these are the learning outcomes for the first subtopic 1.1, Indices. So, indices. Indices stands for plural of index number. A is the base and N is the index. A consists of A consists of real numbers and N consists of integers. So a to the power of n is equals to a times a times a until n. So for example, if you have a to the power of 3, so that means a times a times a. So bear in mind that if a to the power of 0, a equals a to the power of 0 is equals to 1. And a to the power of n is equals to 1 over a minus n. And a to the power of negative n, negative sign right here, is equals to 1 over a to the power of n. So, here are rules of indices. So, basically, we have uh, 6 basic rules of indices. So, the first one is a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So, that is equals to a to the power of m plus to the power of n. Okay. So, for example here, if you have 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 2. So, that is equals to 3 to the power of 7. So, make sure the base is same. Okay. If you have a to the power of m over a to the power of n, so the power we can minus. Okay. So, same goes to the example right here. If you have the same base 2 and 2, so 2 to the power of 2 over 2 to the power of 7, so we can combine so we can write it down as 2 to the power of 2 minus 7. Okay, and then now you have 2 to the power of negative 5. So we can write it down as 1 over 2 to the power of 5. Right, so the third example, uh, no, third rules. If you have a to the power of m bracket to the power of n, so we can multiply the power. Okay, so for example, if you have negative 4 to the power of 3 bracket to the power of 2, so we, we need to multiply the power first and then after that, we simplify it. Okay, so note that here, negative sign, um, we can eliminate because uh, the power here is even power. Okay, so let's say if you have odd power, so the negative sign here uh, is still there. Right, so if you have A times B bracket to the power of N, so we can write it down separately as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Okay, so here is the example that you can see uh, that we use uh, these rules. Okay, how the rules is applied is applied uh, into the question. All right. If you have a over b to the power of n, so we can write it. Uh, we can write it separately as a to the power of n over b to the power of n. So b to the power of n down here, we can bring it up so that it becomes a to the power of n times b to the power of negative n. Okay, 
So here is the example that you can see. If you have 2 over 3 to the power of 7, so you can write it down separately as 2 to the power of 7 over 3 to the power of 7. And then this 3 to the power of 7, we bring it up. So it becomes 2 to the power of 7 times 3 to the power of negative 7. Okay, so last um last rules of indices. If you have a to the power of m over n, so we can write it down as nth root of a to the power of m. Okay, or we can write it down as this one as well. Okay, so here is the example. So you note that the the number in the denominator, if we change the the notation, you can read, you can write it down as cube root of three square. Okay, and then three square is equals to nine. So here is the example. Here is the answer. So let us see the first example. Okay, example one. Right, so we want to evaluate these four questions. Okay, so the first one you have 2 to the power of 7. So remember 2 to the power of 7 means you need to, to multiply 2 by 7 times. 4, 7 times. Okay, if you have 7 right here, so 2 is multiplied 7 times. Okay, so this will give you 128. If you have 3 to the power of negative 3, so you can write it down as, so you can write it down as 1 over 3 to the power of 3. Okay, so this is equals to 1 over 3 times 3 times 3 equals to 1 over 27. Okay. So next example, if you have 1.02 to the power of 2, so that is equals to 1.02 times 1.02, so this equals to 1.0404. Okay, so last one, if you have 1 over 1 over 4 to the power of 4. Okay. So, you see here, if you have negative, okay, to the power of negative 4, so we can write it down below. The 1 over 4, we put it down uh, in the denominator. Okay. So, this is equals to 1 over 1 to the power of 4. 4 over 4 to the power of 4. Okay. Over here means division. Okay. Divided by. Right. So division change to multiply. So you will get 1 times 4 to the power of 4 over 1. Okay. Because 1 to the power of 4 is equals to 1. Okay. So this is equals to 4 to the power of 4 equals to 256 right